Hello, everyone. Let's start today's session. So today we will discuss about how to lock and unlock SAP user ID and how to delete the user ID, existing user ID. So let's go ahead. So let's here, you can see, this is, a, we can see a GUI. You can see here, this is SAP GUI. Okay, you can double click on this SAP ECC server. Okay, you can put it here, username and password. So here we have a SAP user ID and already we have a password here. Just log it into SAP ECC server access. Now, now you can check it before, okay, unlock and log this user ID. Okay, so go to SC01. Okay, here you can put the username RAM RAM5. We have a user ID. Okay, you can just check it, it is available or not. Yes, it is available. Okay, now what need to do, you have to log this. Okay, if the requirement, I don't want to unlock. Uh, okay, some I want to log this user ID. Okay, so how can you can see here there is one buttons are there here over menu bar. Okay, so you can see here lock or unlock. So click on this. So it says not locked. That means logged. You can see here. Okay, no change made user. Okay, so okay, so let's try to log it first. Is unlocked or not? Okay, so let's see here. I'm putting some. Yeah, it is. It is not logged. Okay, so what what need to do? How it logged? So due to some mistakes. So let's see. I'm trying to log in into the system. Okay, and it and it make it as logged. Okay, so let's. I'm giving some wrong password. If you are putting the more than three times wrong password, it automatically log system will be logged. So let's I'll show you how can so you can see here if I am trying now let's see yeah so even more three times yes you can see the password no longer possible means too many failure attempts. So in this situation, that means your user has been logged. So you have to unlock. Okay. So how you can check it? It is has been logged or not. You can go here, SC01. Okay. You can check it here. Okay. And you can here, there is an option called lock unlock. Click on this button. See, logged due to the incorrect login attempt. So I want to unlock. Click on unlock. Now you can see here, RAM file unlock now. Okay, so now you can go here and try to log in into here. So it will work fine. Okay, something is wrong. Let's see. Yes. Okay, now you can see. Okay, it successfully log in. So that means this is the how the user you can log and unlock. So here is an option where you can log and unlock the any user okay and this is a changes if you want to any changes on this existing user you can go change here okay you can make make any changes let's see if you want to changes on the data like a uh, ramesh okay you can put it ramesh here okay so whatever the changes you want to apply you have to save it before okay? now it is saved so whatever you have made changes you can see i have name i have make it a ramesh so that is reflected ramesh kumar Okay, so whatever the changes you uh, made, it will reflect after save the button. So this is the way you can lock and unlock any SAP user ID. Okay, now the second case is like how we can delete it. Let's see if you want to delete any existing user, how you can delete it. So once you go to the SC11, SC01, SC01. Okay, T code. You can put the username RAM5. Okay, and you can see here one button are there called delete. Okay, you can just just click on delete button. Okay, see here. If you want to delete, you can delete it. So let's before delete, I want to copy. So how you can copy? See, one button is there. Can copy. You can copy it. 
I want to same role. I want to copy into different. Okay. So let's see. I want to create another user. Okay. And copy to the that one. Okay. So let's see here. I want Raj. Okay. I want to copy all this. Okay. Click on from Ram pipe to Raj. Let's see here. Okay. Copy Raj. Okay. So you can put it here. I'm giving here some password. Okay, before here, you can make it here address. You can put it here. So let's see, I'm giving here Raj. Okay, so it will come automatically. See if any changes apply, it will reflect here. So let's see Raj underscore gmail.com. If you want to change the mobile number, you can change the mobile number. So whatever the, the changes you want to, you can change it here. Okay, after changes, okay, if you want to any validity, you can that, that all variety would be same. Okay, you can see I don't want to any changes. Okay, all will because it is a copy. Okay, just save it. See, Raj has been created. Okay, so you can go here, display, you can check whatever you have given Raj Kumar. Okay, login, whatever you have given, initial set. Okay, so you can make it further. Okay, you can make it a productive password after change the password. Okay, you can see all the same would be profile of same would be copied here from RAM pipe users. Okay, so now what I would like to delete it. Okay, I have copied from RAM pipe to Raj. Now I would like to delete a RAM user, RAM pipe user. So how you can delete it? Give it to here and click delete button. Yes, it is asked. Okay. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes, I want to delete it. Click on delete button. So your RAM 5 user has been deleted successfully. If you want to try to display, it will not. See, it is saying does not exist. Okay. So it has been deleted. So this is how we can delete it. Okay. And whatever the RAM 5, whatever the role have assigned RAM 5, I have copied into a Raj. So you can see go to Raj and display. I have copied everything, right? So every same user I have been created, okay, using copy. So this is the way we can copy the users, okay? We can lock and lock the user and we can delete the user. So this is the how we can do this. So thank you, thank you for watching this video.